The combination of apples and greenery in this urn make it a beautiful addition to your outdoor decorating. Start by prepping your urn with a pretty bow. I've got a length of ribbon, and make sure it's a good length of ribbon, nice and long, because it's going to have to go around the urn a couple times. And grab it at the center, start at the front of the urn, bring it to the back, and twist around, and bring it back to center. Then all you need is a simple shoelace bow. We've all tied our shoelaces before, so. Make one bow, make it a little bit bigger, and then a second shoelace bow with the tails. And pull that tight, this one's slightly smaller. All that's left is take one of the ends and bring it behind the bow, pull it through, and then go right through that center loop so you have a nice finish on this bow. One more step, trim the ends with the scissors and cut in a diagonal so that you have a nice pretty end. I filled my urn with rubber mulch, which I love because it's made from recycled materials and it's reusable, which means it's really earth friendly. Another benefit, if you need to move your urn, it's really light. This urn is all about the layers. Start by prepping your urn with a layer of fresh greens. I've got various different sizes of greens and I'm going to work my way around the edge, layering as I go. If you wanna stick a couple of pieces into the mulch, you can do that as well for a little bit of extra security. Work these greens around in a circular pattern, leaving a little bit over the edge. Now we're ready for the next layer, which is a purchased twig wreath. Set it right on top of the greens. I've measured my urn ahead of time, so my twig wreath is proportional to the size of my urn. Next up is the centerpiece of the urn. I have a tall vase, a candle, and some cranberries. I've used a tall vase that's proportionate to the size of my urn, so I'm gonna need a little bit of a taller candle as well. Take your candle and center it. If you don't have a candle that's tall enough, feel free to use a can like this to set your candle on top of. Then I have cranberries. I'm gonna pour them into the vase. Make sure you have plenty of cranberries on hand. Each vase will take about two bags of cranberries, so if you're making two urns, make sure you have plenty on hand. We're ready to add our centerpiece to our urn. Go ahead and take it over. Nestle it on top of the twig wreath in the greens. Make sure it's nice and secure. The cranberries and the candle should give it plenty of weight so it doesn't go anywhere. The final layer, some beautiful green apples. Just nestle these apples on top of the twig wreath, working your way around the urn. The beautiful bright green color complements the greenery that's already in there. As you add your apples, it will give a little more weight to your urn and secure the greenery and twigs that are already there. A fresh and fruity urn that's a beautiful addition to your outdoor decorating.